Malprave is holding the world leaders in a base high up in the Swiss Alps. 007, you must prevent world chaos and global economic meltdown by rescuing the leaders of the world. The eight leaders are almost certainly being held at gunpoint. You'll have to ensure that none of them come to harm. All eight hostages must survive unscathed, 007. Once the leaders have been rescued, find Malprave. Be careful when confronting her. No doubt she has more tricks up her sleeve. I've provided you with all your gadgets. You'll undoubtedly need them all. Good luck, 007. Alright, let's do this. Welcome to the final mission of Agent Under Fire, everybody. This is Jar's game, and as you noticed, I changed my difficulty down to Operative. That's because, Zoe, despite my practicing, in this base. I Get actually... Be prepared to meet me up at the top. Yeah, we'll meet the guy at the top, anyway. What I'm saying is, the I actually have never completed a stage. I had quite a few failures at it. Good luck. Which means you all at home get to see my first successful completion of this level. And this game itself. Alright, that was a stupid, stupid decision I made. There's no going back from it now. Unless I just restart the whole level. But who wants to do that? Eh. I got some leeway being it on the easy mode. Not a whole lot, but we'll see how it turns out for me. Okay, we're restarting the mission. <laughs> I made a dumb mistake and I just want to see how far I can go with it after that. Yeah, is that down? Alright, let's do this the right way. We need to take down two of the snipers. Yeah, is that one? And not that one. Grenade ain't gonna do it. Golden gun, our favorite broken item. Now I've really taken a lot of damage already. Thankfully, in just this small little area at the, at the beginning, there's a bunch. And I mean a bunch. What the? Wait, I did, did I just hear a guy? Oh, I know what guy it was. Anyway, I said a bunch of body armors. There's one, there's another one. And there's also one more around. But first, we're dealing with this one. Oh, not the jet. Controlling the jet's a pain in the ass. There we go. Why wasn't it going before? Wee hoo! Alright, you can come down now. Alright, there's a ton of guys here. They're quite easy to pick off. If you have the snipe pool befell. Oh, that's another body armor. We didn't know about that one. These guys are no threat. Even less of a threat than usual now that I'm easy. On the other mode, there would be a lot more pouring out of this door. But Nyx? 
Oh, you are waiting for me. And there's the other body armor. Maybe I was prepared for you. Yeah, trying to go backwards after completing the objective. That's funny. Especially since you can't go backwards because it auto loads. Looks like they're being held somewhere in the missile control complex. Good luck. Don't shoot. Please. Hey, you. I'll do I and me, that's for sure. Alright, bring it all on, guards and might. Now, I actually made it to the very last part of the stage before. It's just... We have one more boss battle. There's only a few in this game. Problem is, they are all... Not all very difficult, but this one is... Not that easy. But we'll talk about that to begin with. The rest of this section of the stage follows routine. You go into a silo, find a world leader that's being guarded. So you just have to kill all the enemies nearby and they're rescued. And you can only do one at a time, you can't get the codes from off the board. You know, sorry, proven we can get multiple codes at once. There we go, French Minister is saved. I'm not going for that. Come on. There we go. Yeah, just don't shoot him by accident because then you're an idiot. <laughs> and every one of these sections has a body armor. And we go around here. And we're at silo number two. I said we're at silo number two. There it is. Yeah, and they all go in order. One, two, three, four. And the line that glows up here will just tell you the right path to take. Every single time. So it's not much of a puzzle at all. Bit of a platforming puzzle for figuring out the best way to deal with these enemies and navigate the little area. Each of the silos is. What the hell? Get out of here. Out of my way. Yeah, and like this second one is like freaking effortless. If you're just a little careful about it, you don't have to really go inside the silo at all. Okay, Phil. There we go, Q Jet. The rest we can't claim are quite so simple. Jet my way over here, can't I? Well, no, I can't. It was rough a shot. Like I said, I really don't like Q Jet. And this is a stage that will make you rely on it. Come on. All right, Prime Minister's down. We're well, not down, but saved. Laser remote. What do the specs do? They ain't gonna be useful here. 
Yeah, I don't like this room. Just the way he navigates, a pain in the ass. Fortunately, that will not be a problem anymore. That's the way out of it. There we go. Hey, one more to go. Hey, right, where's the console? Right here. Le moot. Fill it up. Fill it up all the way. So why are these four in particular being held? I guess as a last resort, as hostages? Not hostages. Hostages. What a what am I trying to mix up saying hostage and hot sausage? Oh, you mean in what you just showed to me? I think I can manage that somehow. Fortunately, the smoke from this does no damage. Okay, get Q Jet ready. Congratulations, Mr. Bond. You've scored a few victories, but it's not over yet. I've set the base's missiles to self-destruct. Soon your ashes will be falling like snowflakes. In the meantime, an old friend would like to entertain you. Nigel was most unhappy that you eliminated his double. He would like to return the favor. He's not even listening here. He's focused on the real villain here. Why was I unequipped my weapon? Yeah, you don't want to really spend much time near him. Anything about this guy, if you, if you keep hitting him, he'll just stop moving. Alright, he's gonna run around this stage in a clockwise manner. Thing is, he will fire multiple rockets at you if he has the opportunity to do it. But if you stay close to him, he won't really be able to. Of course, you can always use Q Jet to fly up there and chase with him. But I find that to be more dangerous than staying at the bottom. Where were you aiming? I was already way gone from there. Yeah, if you keep shooting, you're not he's not gonna be able to hit you. Like so. Stand corrected. You need to really keep on stunning him. Once he does that, you can move on to the next phase of the fight. In this next phase, I don't know what's supposed to happen, but... Oh no, 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 no. I forgot. I died, so I lost my Q-Jet. And if you jump into this fire pit, there's absolutely no freaking way you can get out. It's basically a, a guaranteed death sentence. Wait, did he throw a grenade at me? He better not have. Fill my Q jet now so I don't forget. Alright, where'd you go, Nigel? Alright, come on. Ah, see you, Kim. Oh. Oh, there you are. That's a good spot for me to not get damaged.
So I don't think you can damage him while he's in mid-flight. It'd be pretty damn hard to hit him that way either. Just with the time you have to aim and such. He'd basically be moving before you could get a good shot. So now we repeat this. And repeat it well. He's probably gonna try and shoot me now. No, I caught up with him just in time. Honestly, for final boss, this is kind of boring. <laughs> I mean, you're just moving from corner to corner. Oh, there he is. I knew I hadn't lost him. Alright, let's make sure I'm on... Q-Jet. Oh, we don't... He hasn't gone up yet. I thought he was going up to the top. Never mind, Jargus. At least now I'm prepared for when he does. Wasn't prepared for that though. It's a good time to get more armor. But eventually he will fly away no matter what. Come on. Ah shit, come on. Da, 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 da. For all the crap you've given me, you're a boring final boss. Like this is just going so slow, even though I'm I'm on the easy mode. Come on. There we go. Blow it down for me. Thank you. Okay, now we just gotta turn around, and look what we have here, a claw shot point. This is one weird vent. Hey, you remember this spot. And we just gotta keep shooting. Seven, six, five, four, three, and there you go. Wow. Like, I got to the spot once before. And nothing happened. Eh, yeah, look at that woman. She's dead. <laughs> hell, James. Well, I got blown way to hell up. <laughs> <laughs> How would I do? Not as bad as I thought. Wow. I didn't even get a single game over, which I thought I might do. I'm impressed. Say what? I can't watch... I thought that there was a. I thought there was like a cutscene with credits. Is that only the first time you clear the game? Well, if that's the case, then I'll find someone on, that I can rip it from on YouTube and then show it to you guys. Of course, I'll credit them on screen. But still, that's strange. Oh, well, this was actually. Not that bad of a game. 
first I didn't enjoy it because it took me a long while to get comfortable with the way the controls were. But once I did, it wasn't so bad. I'm still not entirely fond of the controls, but I can't say that they're terrible. Now, anyway, will I check out another James Bond game in the future? Maybe. I tried doing the original GoldenEye at first, but I just could not get things in the way I liked it. Both with the frame rate, but as well as how well the controller used. I don't know, I've never been much of a James Bond person, or an FPS person either. So yeah, this has been Jargus Gaming, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for my next project. Till that time comes, I hope I see you then. I did not transition my words very well. Anyway, I'm glad you stuck around. And the person who's been requesting this, I know your name, but I've been intentionally not saying it, just to protect your own privacy. Well, more like out of respect for your privacy. And yeah, I'm just rambling on. So just, thanks for watching a lot, and whoever is still sticking around, I'll see you for my next video. Until then, everybody.